Okay, this is Mr. Pi, and we're going to investigate the area of a triangle today. To do that, we're going to use the area of a parallelogram. So let's get started. First, uh, before we do anything, we want to take a look at this picture here, this diagram. Uh, you want to find the height and the base of the triangle. Well, I already got the height drawn in here in green. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The height of the triangle is 6. Now the base of the triangle, since I have the height in, this will be the base. And the base is 8, if you want to count it. Uh, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The base is 8. If you want to do this hands-on activity, uh, you'd want to just stop the video for a minute and use graph or grid paper to copy the triangle and uh, make sure you mark mid-segment AB. Draw it in and mark it. And I'll go ahead and cut out the triangle. Once you have the triangle cut out, cut along mid-segment AB so you have a smaller triangle. In essence, now you're going to have two pieces. You're going to have this triangle and you're going to have a uh, trapezoid. You're going to have a trapezoid. So um, once you do that, and uh, you want to then uh, rotate the triangle and slide it down here or translate it down here, uh, you may see that referred to as the uh, rotate about point B because we could have just rotated this triangle down and just pivoted along this uh, point P, B. What we need to do now is find the height and the base of the parallelogram. So uh, the parallelogram so this is the parallelogram work. The height of the parallelogram is 3 and that would be from here to here. 1, 2, 3. The height of the parallelogram is 3 and the base of the parallelogram is still 8 it hasn't changed and so if we write that information down about the triangle the height was equal to 6 and the base was also equal to 8 so we want to know we want to relate or write an expression to relate the height of the parallelogram we have to the height of the triangle. So the height of the parallelogram here is equal to, now we're just going to use this ratio right here, the height of the parallelogram to the height of the triangle would be one half the height of the triangle. Now that we have an expression that can relate the height of the parallelogram to the height of the triangle, we can take the area formula for the parallelogram which is the base times the height now remember this is going to be the height of the parallelogram and we can change that into the area of the triangle which is given right here and we're going to substitute this one half h for the one half times the height in for this h here to get the base is equal to the area of a triangle is equal to the base times one half times the height and using the commutative property we have the familiar form of the area of a triangle which is the area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height this has been mr plarsky and we developed the formula for the area of a triangle from the area of a parallelogram.